It's time for Washington Shellfish Quest. This month's species, Pacific Razor Clam. Yeah, most people that dig for these consider these the best tasting clams in the world. Here I am, folks, on the opening day of Razor Clam season 2013. And holy smokes, the beach is just packed. Hey, Washington Shellfish Questers. Boy, am I excited, because it's the opening day of Razor Clam season 2013 here on the Washington coast. Razor clamming is a ton of fun compared to a lot of other clamming because the clams actually dig away from you very fast. Razor clamming is a huge recreational activity undertaken by many Washington sportsmen. Last year was a banner year, about six uh, million razor clams were harvested. Uh, razor clamming is, uh, there's five beaches pretty much in the state, uh, designated beaches for it, and uh, the opener is only on Twin Harbors. My personal favorite, favorite beach is uh, Mock Rocks and uh, Capellas. I really like Roosevelt Beach. That's where the biggest razor clams seem to come from, uh, also known as moss backs. All right, there's two ways to go after razor clams. After you see a show, which can look like this, or they can look like any of these, thanks to the Department of Fish and Wildlife's uh, guide here. All right, today's really good for shows. I'm seeing them everywhere, but usually they're not showing this well, especially when it's raining or the surf's really pounding. So uh, you have to basically walk around and stomp on the ground with your feet, your gun, your shovel, whatever have you. And it can be nice to have a person stomping in front of you that you can just follow. So after you found a show, there's two ways to go after them. One is the clam gun. This is the easiest and probably most common method now for razor clam. You just make suction by putting your uh, thumb right there over uh, that hole once you found a show and uh, pull up a, a core of the beach pretty much. Razor clams dig away down towards the ocean, so keeping your back to the dunes is a good stance. Usually on the first pull, the clam will be inside that sandy core. Um, be sure to look through the whole core because it's odds are it's in there. So that's the advantage. It's, it's fairly easy, the main advantage. Ooh, gotta save my camera. <laughs> The disadvantage is you can crush clams with them accidentally. With razor clams, you're not allowed to throw back the ones that you you injure or kill. Um, you probably will have killed them if you do damage their shell whatsoever. If you do feel a slight crunch, the thing to do is lift the gun up a bit and uh, readjust it and go at it again. Because um, if you just keep going, what you're going to do is cut that clam in half. Whereas if you readjust after just feeling that really slight crunch, you've probably just done minor damage. Um, it takes a bit to get the feel to it, but that's a way that you'll you'll save yourself a lot of meat. Oh, and another disadvantage of the clam gun is your friends who use uh, actual clam shovels will make fun of you and call you names because they'll think you're a big wuss um, if they're experienced razor clam diggers. There we go. Boy, they're real deep today, but this is about a, a good size one for Twin Harbors. Definitely not a mossback. The mossbacks are called mossbacks not only because of the comical notion that they're so largely growing moss, they literally have kind of like a discoloration of a black brown shell rot almost. I don't know what it is exactly, discoloration down here. But at any rate, here's your typical Pacific Razor clam. It's a uh, shell there really is just like a razor. I mean, it will cut you thin and deep. This is the, the tool of the trade. This is what the pros use. Um, it's probably a more enjoyable way. You also don't uh, break any shells. Uh, disadvantage, I guess, would be it's harder. If the clams are down low, you might actually lose a few. If the surf's really pounding, the clams won't be so near the surface. It can be hard to get at them, actually. Therefore, a lot of uh, shovel diggers will be more in the surf than a uh, gun user. So basically, with the clam shovel, when you see the show, you're gonna wanna take one quick scoop, basically between the show and the ocean, and the scoop is gonna be towards the show, and you're gonna be about six inches behind. As you do that first one, you take a knee, and you do that uh, one to three times more, depending on how high the clam is, and jam your hand in the hole to try to get that uh, clam before it gets to China.
Holy smokes, these guys are deep today. I was not letting that guy go. It was me or the clam. Whew. Well, at any rate, uh, sorry I only got one shovel thing in there, but boy, that was hard to capture on film with just one person <sighs> when they're this deep. At any rate, the tide's starting to come in. I'm gonna go surf bridge for a bit. Unfortunately, my helmet cam broke, or I'd ask you to come with me. So I'll see you on next month's Washington Shellfish or Fish Quest. I am getting soaked. <laughs>